Hello, how are you? I hope you are well. I go back to doing a video tutorial after a long time. I didn't get a chance to do it, a lot happened and all that. I am sorry for that. Well, this time we will make custom controls. Since many have been asking me for it, also the prices for the custom controls of Bunafu or Dev Express seem very high. So, I think it is not worth paying for something that we ourselves can do it easily, quickly and completely customized our way. We will start by building this control, commonly called a toggle button or a switch button. This control is very similar to the radio button or checkbox control, since they only have two states. True or false, checked or unchecked, on or off. Doing so is pretty easy, it won't take long. Well, let's start with the tutorial. The first thing I'll do is add a folder for the custom controls. You can do it in a library of controls. I do it this way to facilitate the demonstration. Then we add a class. They can put the name they want. We import the Windows Forms library to use the conventional Windows controls. We import the drawing library and component model to implement attributes. We convert to a public class and inherit from the conventional checkbox control from the Windows Form library. Since it is the most similar and convenient for this case. Well, first of all, let's declare fields for appearance and assign their default values. For example, a background color for the on state. Toggle color for the on state. Background color for the off state. Toggle color for off state. Now in the constructor. Here I will only set the minimum size of the control. You can initialize other properties you want. Next. We will declare a private method to get the graphics path for the control surface. Since the control has rounded side borders, we are going to define a size for the arc that is equal to the height of the control and subtract 1. Since the paint tends to protrude from the surface of the control. Then we declare a rectangle for the left arc. With a value of 0 on the x and y axis with width and height equal to the arc size. And another rectangle for the right arc. With the value for the x-axis equal to the width of the control, subtracting the arc size and 2. Y-axis equal to 0. With arc size. OK, now we create a graphics path object. We start the figure of the path. We add an arc starting from the left arc. Starting at a 90 degree angle with a 180 degree range. In the same way, we add the right arc, starting at an angle of 270 degrees with the range of 180 degrees. We finalize the figure, and finally we return the graphics path. Next, we'll override the paint event from the control. We removed the paint method call to be able to paint the appearance of the control our way. Well, first of all, we declare a field for the size of the toggle, which will be equal to the height of the control by subtracting 5. To make the drawing we will use this parameter of the paint event. We indicate the smoothing mode and anti-alias. We clean the drawing surface and fill with the same color of the control container. Now if the control is in the checked state, 
That is, the control is in on mode. Otherwise, the control is in the off state. We will start to draw the surface of the control in the on state, for this we fill in a path. As parameters, we send a solid brush of the assigned color in the background color field of the on state. Then we send a graphics path that is obtained from this method. Now we will draw the control toggle. To do this we fill an ellipse with a solid color brush from the color field of the toggle on. Towards the right side of the control with the size assigned in the toggle size field. We perform similarly for the off state of the control. We change the colors of the control to off state. And we draw the toggle to the left side of the control. Well, that would be all as to the appearance and design of the control. To test the control it is necessary to build the project to save the changes. We open the toolbox, we scroll up, and there we will find the custom controls of the project. Works correctly. We can set the checked property to the on state as the initial value. As you can see, the control preserves all the functionality of the checkbox control, both properties, events and methods, thanks to inheritance. This is known as extended controls. However, this control still lacks properties to be able to change the appearance colors. To do this we simply expose these fields as properties. We select the fields, right click. We select quick actions and refactoring, and we select encapsulate fields. This is the fastest way to generate properties. If you are used to writing them yourself with a different name, you can do it, there is no problem. Well, every time a value is assigned to the property, we are going to update the appearance of the control. The invalidate method invokes the paint event to redraw the control. We can keep adding more properties or we can cancel and expand properties. For example, we will override the text property of the control, and remove the value assignment. We build the project to save the changes. Now we can change the appearance colors of the control in the on or off state. We can also resize the control, setting the auto size property to false. Works correctly. Well, we are going to add a new property that will allow us to change the appearance to solid or glass. We can specify the default value to true.
in the painting event. If the control is solid style, the control surface will be filled with the graphics path. Otherwise, the graphics path will be drawn, that is, only draw the border of the path without filling. In the same way for the off state. And we already have the new property that allows you to change the style of the control. I will add a new toggle button to change the theme of the form to dark or light. Well, everything works correctly, basically the behavior of this control is the same as that of the checkbox or radio button control. Something additional, as you can see these new properties do not belong to some category as these properties are. Therefore, we can group them into a category in this way. Well that's it in this tutorial, I hope you liked it and it helped you. And incentivize them to create more custom controls. Goodbye and until the next video.